balls. Mofurian had genuinely believed he'd outfoxed Xavius, with that whole tricking him into thinking he'd gone downstairs thing, but it was clearly the young night elf that had been played the fool. Of course Malfurion wouldn't have just cheesed it without finishing his mission. So this was it then, Malfurion thought. He'd learned much from Cenarius, but not enough to stand against such a powerful sorcerer. However, Malfurion, we're, we're still, still here. here. Our, Our strength, strength is, is your strength, strength. Just, like just like inside, inside the crystal. The crystal. That's, That's right. right, we're doing, we're doing the, power the power of friendship. friendship. Malfurion cringed for a moment, but it's not like he had a lot of options at the moment. So he concentrated really hard and started to sense not only Tyrande and Krasis, but also Brox now as well. You are a I'll druid, Malfurion. Perhaps, Perhaps the first, first of your, your kind. kind. You, you draw, draw from the world, world from, from nature, nature. So, so you, you can draw, draw from, from us as well. well. Yeah, all right, we get it, Krasis. Malfurion obeyed, and just in time too. Xavier's launched a spell which should have left little trace of Malfurion's spirit, but the young Nigh Elf just slapped it away as if it was nothing. The Lord Counselor then struck again, angrily, but nothing. As Xavius then gestured to cast a third spell, Malfurion realised this situation could go on for a while. Bit of an impasse. He needed to think of something in order for us to move on from this scene. And he couldn't just pass out. So, Malfurion turned his attention away from the Lord Counselor, towards the portal, and several highborn that were maintaining its form, and have totally been standing behind it this entire time. <laughs> Malfurion then sent some really strong wind or something hurtling towards those things. The highborn went flying, and the portal shimmered slightly, and twisted. But... The power of the Great One is with me. You are no match for us both. Again, self-doubt filled Malfurion's mind. It was hopeless. The combined might of Xavius and this entity of pure evil was indeed too much. Courage, Courage Druid. Druid. There, there is, another is another of us, of us who's, been who's been waiting, waiting for, for just, just this, this moment. moment. Malfurion then felt a fourth presence join, adding its strength to the others, a significant amount of strength. I am Cariel Strauss, and, and I freely give what I have. have. Malfurion now felt absolutely invigorated. He could sense everything. The stones, the wind, all of the things. The power of friendship! The power of friendship. Malfurion then raised a hand, with thunder suddenly roaring outside the palace. He looked Xavius deep in the eyes, smiled, and boof. Meanwhile... What the bloody hell was that noise, Captain? Is there trouble in the tower? Not that I'm aware of, Light of a Thousand Moons. Perhaps just a prelude to the Great One's arrival. Ashara's face lit up at that. You think so? In that case, I should be prepared. Surely we're in for a wonderful event. As you say, glory of our people. Would you like me to investigate? Just to be certain. No. I'm certain you're correct. Do not bother Lord Xavius. After all, I'm sure the Lord Counselor has everything in hand. And back in the tower. Impressive. If in the end futile, my young friend. You have but the power of the well on which to draw. While I also have the might of a god. That remark made Malfurion smile again. No, my lord, you've got it backwards. For you, there's only the will, and the supposed might of a demon who claims godhood. The power of the world itself is behind me. I've no more use for your babbling. Xavius then again began drawing upon the well, an immense amount of power from it, but he didn't get to finish casting his spell, because lightning suddenly struck him repeatedly, and he exploded. Malfurion then gave another simple gesture, causing the shield array behind him to explode as well, and then turned his attention towards the portal. You only delay the inevitable. I will devour your world, just as I have many others. You'll find us a sour treat. This is way too many explosions. Meanwhile again, Ronin felt it. A sudden surge of power. So that could only mean one thing. Malfurion had completed his mission. Immediately, he looked to Illidan, whose facial expression suggested he also felt it. The moon guard next to him also looked pretty excited. Hell, all of the night elf defenders around the battle looked rejuvenated. And Ronin realised the night elves as a people must all be one with the well. Even the non-wizards. Have at them! Give them no quarter! 
And after only a few moments of giving them no quarter, the Night Elf army pushed the Burning Legion all the way back inside the ruined capital. However, with a somewhat reluctant expression, Lord Ravencrest signalled for the army to halt. Even with their connection to the Well Restored, they'd been fighting for several chapters. Illidan looked quite pissed off about it, desperately urging the Moonguard to keep going with him, but they were having none of that. While Stronin agreed with the commander. He was knackered. Ravencrest then ordered some volunteers to ride out across the Night Elf realm, to rally those they found in an effort to strengthen their force again, but also to see the extent of the devastation. After that, Ravencrest approached Illidan, immediately putting him in charge of the Moonguard from now on. Some of those Moonguard did protest a bit, but gave up because no one gave a shit what they thought. And pleased with his new status, Illidan ran over to Ronin and bragged about it. Ronin nodded politely, a little bit worried. Would this new position be good for the young Night Elf? He had great potential, but he was reckless and mental. And as the Night Elves all continued to cheer and feel really proud of themselves, Ronin then thought about the person who was actually responsible for this night's success. It wasn't him, wasn't Illidan or Ravencrest, it was Malfurion. Hopefully, that bloke was okay. And finally, is he lost to us? No, he, he can't be. He doesn't smell dead. Jared Shadowsong glanced at the Red Dragon, still getting used to the fact he was standing next to one. This had been a weird day. The area was charged with powerful magical forces. It could have dispersed parts of his dream self to every corner of the world. He might be able to regather himself, but the odds of that. Forgive this impertinent question, but did he at least accomplish what he hoped to? He did. Stop talking like that! Duranda then wiped a tear from her eye and gazed upwards. Miloon, Mother Moon, forgive this servant for disturbing your rest. I do not dare ask for him to be returned, but please, give us an answer as to his fate. Unfortunately, nothing. The moon did not, in fact, join them in the room and tell them anything. However, Gracious then paused, looking out the window whilst narrowing his eyes. I know you're there, and I now know what you are. The forest lord then entered, directly walking towards Malfurion's physical body and Tyrande. Daughter of my dear Elum, your tears touch the heaven and the earth. I cry for him, my lord. He is a son to me, so I am pleased he also has one like you. Tyrande's face cheeks darkened. <laughs> yes, I urge your pleas to Elum, both the spoken and unspoken ones. Cenarius then placed a hand on Malfurion's face. I walked the Emerald Dream seeking answers, and imagine my surprise when I came upon one I knew, drifting, in a very dazed and confused state. Why he didn't even know himself, much less me. As Cenarius finished, a green light drifted from his hand, and Malfurion's eyes suddenly burst open. Oh, Malfurion! Seeing Tyrande filled Malfurion with joy. She was a lovely sight, the most beautiful thing he'd ever seen. <clears throat> Malfurion then realised there were several others in the room, so he prevented himself from blurting out his feelings. The shield. Is it gone? For now? The Burning Legion has been held in check. Malfurion nodded. For now. Yes, the war wasn't over yet. We will fight them. We will save our world. They can be beaten. This I know. They can. But we'll need more help. We'll need the dragons. We'll need more than the dragons. And I go now to see to that. You've made me proud, my Therashan. Thank you, Shando. So, uh, is that it then? The portal is destroyed, but the Highborn can remake it. And they will. More will come, I'm afraid. A lot more.